AMC 10A 2020 Problem 10. 7 cubes with volumes are 1A 27, 64, 125, 216, and 343 cube units are stacked vertically from to form a tower in which the volumes of the cubes decrease from bottom to top. Except for the bottom cube, the bottom face of each cube lies completely on top of the cube below it. What is the total surface area of the tower, including the bottom, in square units? So you notice that underlined, each cube lies completely on top of the cube below it, because this will come important in determining the surface area of this entire structure. So to the right hand side of the screen, you can see I've drawn a figure of what this question is modeling. And the volume of each decreases from top to bottom as the question states, or from bottom to top rather. So from this, we have the volumes of each cube. So since the volume of a cube is equal to its uh, side length cubed, then that must mean that the surface area is nothing more but 6 times its surface area, or 6 times one of its sides squared. So that means that the side of each cube is equal to the cube root of its volume. So that means, and we take the positive cube root, of, of course, so therefore, uh, the cube root of each of the volume will give us the side length of the square. So the volume of one cube with one will have a side length of one, the cube with volume of 8 will have a side length of 2, the one with 27 will be 3, and the one with 64 will be 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, since we have 7 cubes, because we have 7 volumes. So these are the dimensions of each cube. And with that, we can find the surface area of each. The surface area will be the side length squared. So this is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and 49. This should come as a no-brainer for many. And now that we're done with this, we can move on with the question. So from this image, what can we say about the surface area for each of the cubes? Well, the bottom cube will obviously have a surface area of 6 times its side length squared, or the surface area, which is 49. Because the bottom cube has the largest dimension, which is 7. So 6 times 49 will be its uh, surface area. And we add this to the next one which is the cube with a dimension of 6. Now, the cube with a dimension of 6, how do we model that? Well, the surface area for the dimension of 6 will be 6 times 36. But notice this underlying statement that each cube lies completely on top of the cube below it. What does this mean? That means we have overcounted if we multiply 36 with 6. So if I draw the dotted line that this on top of cube is covering, this cube on top of the cube with dimension of 7 is actually covering two areas, this shaded area in red. Since the top cube with six dimension of 6 lies completely on top of the cube with dimension 7, it is covering an area of its surface area one time on the 7 cube. But the 7 cube is covering an equal area on the 6 cube because it's covering completely on top of each other. So instead of multiplying by 6, we actually need to multiply it by 4, because we only have 4 surface areas that are still countable. The rest are all overcounted, which was the 2 times 36. The 2 times 36 was overcounted. So this applies for all the rest, because you can imagine it instead of 7, this will be 6 and this will be 5. Likewise, 6 becomes 5 and this image becomes 4. This goes all the way up until this is 3, this is 2, and the top one is 1. The 1 cube is covering likewise an equal area on the 2 cube, and the 2 cube is covering an equal area on the 1 cube. So this pattern checks out will be 4 times the surface areas from cube 6 all the way to cube 1. So 36 plus 25 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1. So 6 times 49, what is this? This will be... 294 plus 4 times this quantity. 36 plus 25 is obviously 61. This is 25 and this is 5. This becomes 30 plus 61 gives us 91. So 4 times 91 plus 294 will be our solution, which is 294 plus 364, which is the same as 856. So our solution to this question will be answer choice B.